to another exciting edition of the Brain Ladle Trivia Podcast. I am your MC Devo. With me today, we have Kells. How you do that there? We have Andy. Hello, little brainers. We have the sensei, Neil. Hey, everybody. Let's play some trivia. Yes. Each week we have a theme. Then that theme, we've got six categories, four questions each. Each question is worth 10 points, a few bonus points thrown in here and there, and then a final question, which is worth up to 100 points. And it is towards the end of February, which no, is... it isn't. Okay, Dave. When, it, when it comes out, it will. <laughs> yeah, I remember we're recording <laughs> Play like along, Dave, six oh. episodes ahead. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's practically spring. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, we're pretending... <laughs> that it's the end of February, which is, of course, Black History Month in the United States. Mm -hmm. And so, with the help of one of our patrons, Twy, I no. have a Black History Month quiz for you guys. I don't learn. Oh. Why are we doing this? We've done this before, and I look like an idiot every yeah. time. Every time we've done Black History Month, we look dumb. Uh, Kells does pretty well, actually. I'm Kells honest. does amazingly. Huh. <laughs> but that could be every other show. That's Come true. On. That's true. He he do pretty well in White History Month for that matter. He has <laughs> he has done amazingly. Actually, we call that uh, AP Euro at high school. There you go. <laughs> All right. Category one is science. Oh, oh my god. So, question one, Gladys West developed a mathematical and programmatic model for using satellite data to model the shape of the Earth. Her work became a foundation for what tool that many of us use every day? Locked in. Locked in. Andy, it's Alan Locked Wrench. Locked in? I said Alan Wrench. I thought that was Mr. Alan Wrench. <laughs> it's a misnomer. It's like Equatorial Guinea. <laughs> You're better. Yes, yes, I am. A little bit. <laughs> Kells, what do you got? Uh, GPS. Devo? GPS. And Andy? I was torn between PIPs and GPS. I went with GPS. Uh, good, because that is correct. The global positioning so system. So it's a, it's a really bad cover band? Gladys West and the Pups? <laughs> <laughs> Question two. Edward Boucher is the first African American to earn a PhD from any American university. For five year for five points each, what Connecticut university did his did he earn his doctorate from? And what prestigious academic society was he elected to? Oh, I know the first part. There's a rumor that he know. was the first black person in this society, but that's not actually true. I don't know the second mm. part, but I'll go with this. Locked in. Uh, locked in. Yeah, I'm locked in. David? Yale? And I said the Skull and Bone Society just because mm. of Yale. <laughs> okay. Andy? Yale and the Algonquin Round Table, which mm. came out of left field. Yeah. And um, Kels? Uh, make it Yale for the table. And uh, I said Phi Beta Kappa. Correct answer is Yale, and he was a member of Phi Beta Kappa. Mm. No. Well done, Kells. Nice. I was a member of Phi Slamma Jamma myself. <laughs> you were not. You were not. <laughs> you were not. <laughs> you never attended you know? the University of Houston, for one thing. How do you know? You don't know me. Dave, oh, I believe you. We, we got to do Crap. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> you were like, okay, fine. You were like 11. <laughs> <laughs> hey, were, you, were you even that old and then? Not 11 and kick ass <laughs> uh, <laughs> that would be like 82 I was 6 yeah mm. you know yeah the coolest 6 year old in the hood ever ever with the finest vertical with the finest like, vertical in my Luke Skywalker haircut <laughs> flying through the air <laughs> Luke Skywalker haircut it was great when he was dunking over Hakeem <laughs> <laughs> Clyde who? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question three. Walter Lincoln Hawkins is most well known for developing a flexible and durable plastic sheath for telephone cables. Oh. But his earliest projects at Bell Labs involved 
developing synthetic forms of what material, which was in short supply due to Japan's control of the Pacific Theater during World War II? Locked in. Locked in. Ooh, no idea. Um, locked in. Let's start with Andy. Rubber. David? Rubber. And Kels. I said cobalt. Great answer. You said cobalt? <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> A little shame nugget there for you. Wow. Under the table shame nugget. Just a quickie. Right. Uh, correct answer is rubber. And I can't oh. help it. Every time I hear someone named Hawkins now, I think of screaming Jay Hawkins, which is not wow. fair to Walter. No. No. <laughs> But he was a pioneer of another kind, so. True. All right, question four. Despite never attending college, Vivian Thomas became a surgical pioneer, an instructor of surgery at Johns Hopkins, and the subject of an HBO movie called Something the Lord Made. What type of surgery did he teach? Wow. Um, his, his name was Vivian? Mm-hmm. His name was Vivian. Okay. Okay. Um, is this what the song American? like a, a surgeon is about is this no oh, no okay. just say no. it out loud i kind of want to hear that <laughs> <laughs> i'm like then wow i got nothing wow and he never went to med school or college yeah he he graduated high school and he taught at johns hopkins oh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute Specific kind of surgery. Mm-hmm. So I think most I got it. I played got him it. in the movie. Most and Alan Rickman was in that too. <laughs> Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman. Yes. Nightcrawler. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, this is there's like ten bajillion types of surgery. Yeah. Oh, surgery! Damn it. I got Andy, what wrong. were you thinking about? Very, very uh, curious with that, no, I, with I, that I, response. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm just going to go with this. It is a total guess. Locked in. Yeah. Yeah, I'm locked in. Let's start. With- <laughs> he's not happy, but he's locked in. <laughs> Let's start with Kels. I said open heart, but now I fear that might be too specific. Deva? Arthroscopic. Andy? Yeah, I messed up a little bit. I was thinking in terms of CPR. I just listened to an amazing podcast about the Freedom House Ambulance Service. The The first paramedics in the United States were black in Pittsburgh. Oh, wow. hmm. And they were also pioneers in CPR. And I just listened to this whole podcast about it, And that's where I thought you were going. But then I reheard you say surgery. CPR, definitely not surgery. <laughs> Uh, that is correct. It is not surgery. However, the C in CPR stands for cardiac, which is the correct answer. So, Kels, I'll give you. I'll give you wow. That. Yeah. So he. Uh, what? He practiced on dogs, like hundreds of dogs. He did particular types of surgery on. There was a particular problem that he was solving. They called it blue baby syndrome. There was a problem with the with the cardiac arteries not being connected right. Mm -hmm. And he came up with a way and perfected a way to, to fix that. Wow. uh, But he did it on dogs because he wasn't allowed to actually perform surgery because he'd never been to school. Right. But he was able to teach that surgery. And as Kells may know from the movie where he was played by Mos Def, um, Mm -hmm. (laughs) I thought you were joking. No, uh, no. (laughs) <laughs> uh, he was uh, Alan Rickman was at Nightcrawler was he I'm getting my Allens mixed up <laughs> <laughs> I Night wondered what that was but I, you know it's you know Alan superhero something. stuff better than me Parsons uh, that's quite a project <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> anyway Man, I was wrong on five different levels on that question just <laughs> yep so anyway his this the supervising surgeon looked at the uh surgical procedure that this guy did and uh, said it looked like something God made because it was so perfectly done Mm. that it looked like it was completely natural. So that is amazing. He wanted to go to college, but he was never able to, this was, I mean, this was like in the twenties and thirties, I think when he was, he became a lab assistant. Hmm. 
It's pretty interesting guy. Vivian Johnson. Uh, Thomas. 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 Man, six times wrong on that <laughs> whole damn thing. <laughs> It's a, common, it's a common name, man. It's okay. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to say it was a Cinemax movie now. <laughs> I, think it was, it's, I think it was an HBO movie. It was HBO. Yeah. <laughs> I said that in the question. I didn't even... Uh, whatever. Yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway, after category one, Devo and Andy have 25 and Kells has 30. Ooh. Huh. Kells is winning. Hmm. Came out of left field. <laughs> Category two, courtesy of our friend Y, is history. Yes. Uh, um, I know history. Boy. There you, there you go. go. We'll see. <laughs> Question one. In 1777, what colony became the first in the U.S., well, in what was to be the U.S., to abolish slavery? Locked in. Locked in? Mm, locked in. Deva? Massachusetts. Andy? Vermont. Fuck Fells. me. Well, there you go. Said, Bleep in the said, second category. Yeah, I said Pennsylvania. Andy is correct. It's Vermont. No, Pennsylvania is correct. a solid guess because the Quakers were against against slavery, yeah. but they couldn't quite get the act passed. So they did pass a uh, wasn't actually a law, but they actually passed something that said we don't like it. A resolution. Yeah, there you go. Proclamation. But Vermont was the first to ban it outright. A strongly okay. worded letter. <laughs> <laughs> we are not pleased. We are not giving you any oatmeal until you ban slavery. Question two. In wow. 1950. Really? I thought it was a little bit funny. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, Quakers, oatmeal. I, I mean, there was Andy. an element of funny if, there. I don't know if that meant anything to you. I thought you <laughs> I heard a, a chortle. Fall. I yeah. heard a bit of a chortle. Fine. I'll accept the chortle and move on. I, I heard what you said, but it didn't click with me until you explained it. So yeah, that's that the mark of a good joke. joke. Yeah. 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 That's the magic. Let me set out some construction cones for this joke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll workshop that one. Right. I mean, honestly, sometimes you guys make jokes that I just don't get because they're like, they're either inside Not jokes. Funny. Well, that's a, that happens a lot, but right. wow. they're either inside jokes that you guys <laughs> have been doing for years or they're uh, some pop culture thing or sports thing that I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> so, so essentially, it's a joke that it's an inside joke from a long time ago or it's a current joke about current events. Either way. Yeah. I mean, if you made more science jokes, I'd probably think they were funny. right. Right. Yeah, never trust an atom. They make up everything. There you hey. go. <laughs> See, that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question two. In 1950, Dr. Ralph Bunch became the first African-American and first person of African descent to receive what prestigious award for his work as a United Nations mediator in the Palestine conflict? Locked in? Locked in. Um... All right, educated guess. I'm locked in. All right. Let's start with Andy. The Nobel Pre Peace Prize. Kels? Nobel Peace Prize. And David. The Nobel Peace Prize. That is correct. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Question three. Doris Miller manned a machine gun without experience and shot down four enemy aircraft during the attack on Pearl Harbor. In 1942, he was awarded what honor for this heroic action? Locked in. I have a picture of him hanging in my classroom. Nice. Very um, cool. Like he was Cuba Gooding Jr. in that one terrible movie, wasn't he? I have Had no idea. Be. I did not see the terrible movie. I have. <laughs> really? Values. Surprise. The, uh, <laughs> the values. It. Yeah, okay. it in, in class, I think. Well, part of it. This is Dunking really them crunchberry pancakes and gravy. You have values. Hey, hey, yeah. hey. I'm locked in. <laughs> Values. Great value. <laughs> All right, Kels. Said the Navy Cross. David? I said the Medal of Honor. And Andy? The Navy Cross. Fuck <laughs> me running. Wow. Two bleeps. 30 minutes in. 
Yeah, he's got a special. 20, 20 minutes in. <laughs> All right, because we had to stop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the correct answer is the Navy Cross. So he had he had a, uh, I think it was a destroyer escort named after him in, I think, the 90s. But that hmm. one's been decommissioned. But one of the new Gerald Ford class nuclear carriers is going to be named after uh, Dory Miller. That's nice. cool. Should be launched in 2029. <laughs> okay. It takes a long time to build those things. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> they were, they're massive. And finally, L. Douglas Wilder was the first elected black state governor. In what decade did he serve? And for a bonus, what state was he the governor of? Locked in. Come on. Locked in. All right. David? I'm not locked in yet. Well, when you are, go ahead, David. Not ah, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Workshop it out, man. Just well, okay. So I've, I've, I know it's, uh, I've, I've. <laughs> <laughs> to stop it out the blocks. You know what's funny is yeah. I imagine that that's what he actually thinks when he's thinking this stuff through. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I know that there. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a southern state. Which is weird. <laughs> well, that narrows it down. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's less than 50. <laughs> you got that right. And I'm going to try to play a little inside baseball here, mm-hmm. knowing that this came from Twy. And where does Twy I'm, live? Uh, I'm not going to say it yet. <laughs> well, they're already locked, locked in. in. Oh, they're both locked in? Yeah, that's right. Uh, Virginia. Mountain Mama. Oh. Oh, this is this is the regular Virginia, I think. Not yeah, this is a Virginia light. <laughs> Virginia light. Um, I like to call I, it East Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they like that too. <laughs> I am gonna say this because I don't have a mother <laughs> clue. You beep yourself now, okay? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like it matters. <laughs> Uh, I walked in. <laughs> you should have just bumped it. This is horrible. <laughs> Go ahead, Dave. The 30s of the 1900s, 1930s, and I said Virginia. <laughs> oh, yes. bless you. God bless you. The 30s it's so of the sweet. 1900s. <laughs> well, I recognized it could have been. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Yeah, it could have been the 1830s. It could have been the 1830s. It's a whole clan activity. (laughs) Move along. Just just move past me, pat me on the head, tell me I'm an idiot, move on. Andy? Uh, Virginia, I believe it's the 1990s. And Kels? I said the 90s, but I said Mississippi. So the first... Mississippi, come on. The first (laughs) African-American governor was actually in Louisiana... Oh, but uh, he was appointed uh, and didn't serve particularly long. I think he I think he was the lieutenant governor. And when the governor died or left the state, Wait a minute. I don't know what happened. So anyway, okay. But the correct answer, the first actually elected governor was um, in Virginia in the 1990s. You know, what's funny, guys makes it even worse. Oh, I lived boy. in Virginia in the 1990s. <laughs> wow. Under that governor. Yeah, I thought that name sounded familiar. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I you genuinely, genuinely, this is how, this is how off, this is how bad I am tonight. Genuinely, I'm like, is did that guy's dad serve too? <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. Oh, uh, you just saw the Kobayashi on the mug. <laughs> I did. <laughs> it's too late. He left the precinct. I, uh, <laughs> he just dropped his coffee. I dropped it yeah. around. Like, what? Yeah, verbal, <laughs> verbal Kent is straightening out his limp right now. Yep. <laughs> Getting in the car. Getting picked up. I am so ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. All right. At the end of category two, Davo has 40 points. Kells has 60. Andy has 70. Dang it. Andy. (laughs) Why? 
Why? Now the history's done. <laughs> I just slowly start fading into the background again. <laughs> hey, boy, you should have just kept that, that last bit about living <laughs> Virginia in the 90s. No, the people soul. need to know how bad it was for me. <laughs> <laughs> they need to know how terrible that went. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he did. I was actually in his administration. Now that I think about it, <laughs> I was his secretary of agriculture. <laughs> I was part of his cabinet. <laughs> this this was after being, you know, first team All American out of the University of Houston. Where he was yeah, that's. Five, I mean, I'm in I his weird. He's, he's the godfather I was to my son. <laughs> When I was six, I, I went to the University of Houston on an ag scholarship. <laughs> Walked on then to the went, team. <laughs> then went straight into, into politics, working with right? Governor Wilder. And then you met Agent K and J, and they, and they, <laughs> they, they neuralized you, and you lost yeah. everything. I lost it all. <laughs> neuralized. <laughs> so, uh, being an, an alumni of uh, University of Houston, they're like right in the middle of Houston. I don't believe they have an ag program, at least nothing significant. So your ag scholarship is even better. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's, wow. a, that's a super obscure shame nugget, right? Wow. It right. so just funny, keeps bro. getting better. <laughs> We are you right made a joke about going to a school tonight. with a minuscule ag program. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Brain Ladle Productions. We're into minute 12 of discussing how bad Dave's last answer was. I do want to give him credit for metagaming himself into the bonus, though. <laughs> yep. <Good job>. yep. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to sports. Sure. Uh, question one. John Taylor was the first African-American athlete to win a gold medal in the 1908 Olympics in the men's medley relay. Where was the 1908 Olympics held? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> God. So tired of these. I'm just, I'm locked in. With the most common answer. Yeah. I'm... <laughs> oh, Andy, that was perfect. Yes. I'm so locked in too. King done with the Olympics. <laughs> My wife and I've watched the Olympics every year, but not this year. Not not the next time they're on. Screw it. I'm done. You have to just to know where it happened, man. No, I'm <laughs> <Yeah>. out. <laughs> didn't you watch usually how these questions go? You watched the 1908 Olympics, though, didn't you? Oh, because I'm old. I get that. <laughs> you just salty. Man. Yeah. <laughs> So, by the way, I thought it was interesting. The men's medley relay was a race where I believe they had in the four legs they had, they did one. The first person did 100 yards. The second person did 200. The third did 400. And then I think the last one did an 800. Hmm, that's oh. a shitty deal for the fourth person. <laughs> yeah, God. <laughs> yeah, let me run longer than y'all. <laughs> Well, I mean, I think it's interesting because you have a team that's not just like four sprinters. You've got right. middle distance and longer distance folks. And anyway, are we locked in? Uh, I'm locked in. Let's start with Andy. St. Louis? Mm, I really hope it's not St. Louis, but uh, I think St. Louis is four years before. I said London. Deva? I said Paris. Correct answer is London. <sighs> God. It was Olympics. between London and Paris. <laughs> Question two. Watts Misaka was the first non-white player in the NBA in 1946. In what year were the first black players in the league? Mm. And I'll give you Ooh. I'll give you a year or two. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. All right. Let's start with Kels. Said 1954. Come on. <laughs> Did you say 54? No. Oh. I said 48. Mm. And Andy. The U.S. military was desegregated by, by Truman in 48, and so I added a couple more years to it and came up with 50. One of you got it exactly correct. 
And? Probably Andy with that game planned ass answer. It, just <laughs> it was solid though. It was. Jesus, that was amazing. It really was. It was 1950. <laughs> yes! Fantastic, Andy. Total I'm not guess. even mad. I'm not yeah, even mad. I know nothing about just... sports, but I know my history. Nice. The, uh, there were four players that year. You got Chuck Cooper, Earl Lloyd, uh, Hank DeZoni, and Nathaniel Sweetwater Clifton. Oh, Man, that's, that's a, a great name, name right there. That's yeah. a name right there. Can I be Sweetwater McBride for the rest of the Never, season? <laughs> ever, ever. <laughs> nope. Okay. I mean, you can call yourself that if you want. It was worth a if shot. If we're going to call you anything, you're going to be Crunchberry McBride. <laughs> Damn straight. I'm in. I am fine with that. Encourage that. Okay, let's. I think this one's a little bit tougher. Oh, good. Yeah. Hot dog. <laughs> having so much fun already <laughs> what former new york giant safety from the 1950s was the first black player to be inducted into the pro football hall of fame oh first oh, black oh, uh, no you know what i i got no idea what a perfect first, time to bring out first. ray guy me, oh, me. God, <laughs> ray guy well from one hall of famer to another ray guy yep. help me out um, I'm like then. All right, we'll start with David. Now Ray Guy comes in for his first punt of the day. <clears throat> Kick is <clears throat> away. There's a <clears throat> high twisting <clears throat> hang time spiral. <clears throat> and Andy. Now Ray Guy comes in for his first punt of the day. <clears throat> <clears throat> Kick is away. There's a high twisting <clears throat> hang time spiral. <clears throat> I'm just trying to make a remix of that thing, man. I'm trying to make David out of breath. Dance remix. Yes. <laughs> time out. And Kels. Tunnel. Correct answer. Emlyn Tunnel. Give me a <sighs> wow. break, man. How do you even know that? I can't explain a lot of things, Andy. No, that <laughs> answer is one of them. <laughs> so just just uh, some stats on him. He's got two championship rings. Ooh. Well, I think he's dead now. He did have two championship rings. He was a six-time first-team All-Pro. A nine-time Pro Bowl uh, player. He was a in he was in the 1950s All Decade Team, the NFL 50th Anniversary Team, and the NFL's 100th Anniversary Team. Wow, Ooh. he was a pretty good player. Yeah. And our final question: Who was the first African American to complete in the LPGA Tour in 1963? Uh, Can I use Ray Guy again? Oh, no. And I'll give you a hint. It was not Ray Guy. Damn it. Oh, no. I got nothing. Yeah. I know this person, but I just, oh, I'm just, I'm just going to write this and hope for some leniency so I don't eat all the crap in a sports category. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I can. You all know the name. I'm sure of that. Do yeah, I, I just can't bring it to mind. Just to clarify, Arnold Palmer's white, right? Very. Okay. And was not just in the checking. LPGA. Oh, LPGA. <laughs> God, I still have nothing. It's not coming to me. I'm locked in. Um, I'm locked in. I I know this is wrong, Neil. You don't, please don't shame me too much for it. <laughs> don't, please. You got tunnels. Why would he shame you? I'm impressed with tunnel. Because <laughs> I said cobalt in the first category. <laughs> You've redeemed yourself, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, let's start with Andy. You know, a lot of people, uh, for it was Gladys Knight. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you started the bit and gave up so fast. You gave up so fast. <laughs> Just dropped it. so bad. It, was, bail, it bail, wasn't bail. worth your time. Kills. I, I say this knowing that for sure she was a, a, a tennis legend. But I said out there, Gibson, hoping that maybe two sports. Devo. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be good. I can tell. Yeah, the commitment yeah. in the voice. <laughs> yeah. 
I was just going to did pick up leave? my answer. I'll be did right back. Did you just back. leave just now? I, I got to pick it up. It's, oh, I, I, it's, it's at the you Walgreens. I got to grab it. <laughs> she was uh, she was a multi sport athlete. She was oh god. I think her nickname was Babe. Honestly, but she had a funky last name. She started like the LPGA because she was so good. She could compete, could compete with the men, but she couldn't because she was a lady. Babe, babe. I think you're referring to Babe Zaharias. Yes. Yeah. She was a person, a, a white person. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, All right. But I can tell you that uh, the first uh, the first black woman to compete in the LPGA was also a tennis player named <laughs> Athea Gibson. <laughs> You're not serious. Wow. <laughs> so I was right, except for every other part. <laughs> Probably the most important yeah, part. You were right, except for all the stuff you said. Right. She she was a female who probably played golf at some point. Multi sport <laughs> athlete. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And oh man. <laughs> so to be clear, the parts you got right was she was black and she played sports. <laughs> you didn't get that part right. <laughs> you know what, guys? I'm having a time just, here. Just okay. say it. Do you need a moment? I'll take it as you read the scores. I'll okay. be okay by the next category. Well, I don't know. Once you hear the scores, you might have a. No, relapse. I know the scores are horrific. I can read my own paper, man. <laughs> so Davo has 40. Yay. Andy has 80. And Kells has 90. We've all lapped you. Yeah. I think I've gotten progressively worse on every Black History show we've ever done. <laughs> well, I mean, let's look at this. In the first category, you got 25 points. And with science. In the second you category, know, you got... That's like triple points in my mind. In the second category, you got 15 <laughs> points. Yep. And in this last category, you got... Uh, let me see. Zero. Zero points. Zero. Yeah. Yeah. Three bad guesses and a punt. So... <laughs> only can go up from here <laughs> really well that's not actually true <laughs> yeah it could get worse category four courtesy of twy is education uh, okay focusing that, on hbcus or historically black colleges and universities i know the oh. name of two of those <laughs> i'm in i'm in like <laughs> i'm so screwed i know they play in the swack so we're we're all good. <laughs> what? <laughs> Question one: What state has the most HBCUs, including Stillman College and Gadsden State Community College? And for bonus, how many total are in that state? How many total Locked HBCUs? In. Wow! If you didn't say Stillman College, I would not have had a clue. Isn't that the college on a, a different world? Not as. Hillman. I'm gonna say because it might pop up. In it, it's Hillman. <laughs> yeah, it's Hillman. That's my issue. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm locked in. Um, I'm locked in. All right. Let's start with Kels. I said Alabama, and I just threw out eight. Okay, Andy. Alabama, and I said lucky number seven. And David. He said Alabama and six. All right. It is Alabama. Yay! And <laughs> Alabama has eight four-year schools and Damn. six community oh, technical colleges damn. for a total of 14. So yeah. between Kells and myself, yeah. I mean, I was focusing in on the, the technical schools, so... Yeah. Were you? And I was going for you. That was my thought. Uh, that was my thought. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So between you, you still combined. got zero bonus points. Wow. Oh, well, there's that that part. Question two: What organization helps fund over forty HBCUs and awards over sixty three million dollars? I'm sorry, eighty three million dollars in scholarships each year. Locked in. Locked in. Locked in. 
Andy? The United Negro College Fund. David? The United Negro College Fund. And Kels? The United Negro College Fund. Your mind is a terrible thing to waste. Right? Those um, people have not listened to this show. <laughs> Should we start getting you guys uh, scholarships to trivia anywhere classes? Or it's, not gonna <laughs> it's, it's not going to help. It's not going to help. Question three. What college founded in 1881 in Atlanta holds the distinction of being America's oldest HBCU for women? Locked in. Locked in. I don't know why I thought of this, but this could be a college in Harry Potter for all I know. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Locked in. Because so interesting Harry to hear Potter was so multicultural. <laughs> College <laughs> What do you have, David? Morehouse. Oh my god. What? I thought you were going somewhere else totally with that. <laughs> Kells, what do you got? I said Spellman. See, that's what. That's why I thought you said it might be a Harry Potter. Oh, that would have been even funnier. <laughs> <laughs> Andy? Spellman. It is Spellman. It's the sister not- college of Morehouse, which is not a... Uh, oh. So, uh, so, but Morehouse is a real school? Yes. Yeah. In this world. Okay, cool. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> KU Rock Chalk! <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 uh, that, that money did not go to waste. <laughs> i mean did you think did you guys think he was going to guess spellman too when he said that harry potter thing i had I was, no idea yeah, let me be honest with you i didn't know what the hell he was gonna say okay it honest been to god and i'm still thinking about this i'm trying to think of a single person of color that was in that movie series I can't come up with anybody. There's a, there's a, what was your Blaise, name? Blaze, uh, Zabini, Blaze Zabini, I think his yeah. name is. And there's a, there's an Indian fella. Okay. Well, no, there were, there so, was, yeah, multicultural. The, the Patel twins. Yeah. Patel, Patel twins? twins. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and Cho Chang. Cho Chang. Cho Chang. So, yeah. Dozens or right. <laughs> <laughs> and all major this characters. Is like the United Nations. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, question four. In 1995 and 2001, Dr. Ruth J. Simmons became the first black president and black female president of two top ranked colleges. So one in 95 and one in 01. One is a seven hmm. sister school. And the other is an oh. Ivy League school. Name the schools for five points each. Oh, crap. I got nothing. Mm, I got nothing. One is Ivy League and one is what? Seven Sisters. A seven Sisters school. Uh, I don't even know if this is a Seven Sisters school. I barely know. I know, they're, I know the Pleiades, but that's about it. Uh, locked in. No, I'm going to go with that. I'm locked in. If you don't like this question, direct your complaints to Twy. She'll be happy to entertain them. I'm locked in. Them. She's going to get a strongly worded letter. I'm <laughs> totally guessing here. From the Pennsylvania legislature? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's start with Kells. I said Smith and Brown. Attorneys at law. Andy. <laughs> I went with Brown and Vassar. And mm. David. I went with Vassar and Cornell. Wow. Well, one of you got neither. One got one, and one of you got both of them. <laughs> oh my God. The correct answers are Smith College Ooh. and Brown University. Sure. Because screw me, right? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> sure. So that means <laughs> he's getting so pissed. Smith and Brown. I could have just said Jones and Green. (laughs) No, those would have been wrong answers. You shut the hell up, Andy. I'm having a moment. I want to be your zone, dog. So, Devo, you did you did do better. I did. This is your second best category this game. Woot! (laughs) You got sixty points total. 
Yay! Andy has 115, and Kels Wee. has 130. Wow! Dearest Twy, <laughs> never submit questions that make me look like a fool again. Yours with love, Davo. P.S. Thank you for your patronage. <laughs> All right, let's move on to category five, which is all me. And the topic is literature. (laughs) Question one. What is the name of Ralph Ellison's 1953 novel with an unnamed protagonist that explores the themes of black nationalism, Marxism, individuality, and personal identity? (sighs) This sounds familiar. It's, I think he's was he part of the Harlem Renaissance? Wait, but why am I talking out loud? <laughs> <laughs> I'm locked in. I know what this is. Locked in. Mm. This is probably an important book to have read at some point, right? It's it's a good book. But I don't know when this came out. But given the title, it kind of makes sense. I'm locked in. All right, so let's start with Davo. A tree grows in Brooklyn. Uh, Kels? Invisible Man. Andy? Invisible Man. Quick answer is Invisible Man. Not the Invisible Man. (laughs) (laughs) Different story. Yeah. (laughs) Was he actually invisible? All right, question two. Kindred is a 1979 novel described by the author as a kind of grim fantasy. It's about a young black author who repeatedly is sent back in time where she meets her enslaved ancestors in antebellum, Maryland. Who is the author of Kindred, who has also won multiple Hugo and Nebula awards for science fiction writing? That's my one. Gosh, that sounds like a feel good movie. I have no idea. Locked in. Locked in. (sighs) Really? Hey, I get one. That's all I'm going to get. <laughs> Andrew, are you going to use your lightning oh, strike? No, I did. Wait, we have lightning strikes no, tonight? No, no, no. Damn. Oh, you had no, me no. excited for a minute. <laughs> Damn it. Why would you do that? You revel in our pain. <laughs> you answered your own question. Yeah, I sure did. <laughs> Oh, I, I botched wow. it. I just botched okay. it. Okay. Famous. You botched you did? it, Kels? I did. Oh. Mm. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though. I'm excited, though. I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to it now. <laughs> I'm locked in. I don't know it. Andy? Jordan Peele. Devo? Butler. Kels. Who? So, <laughs> you, when you were saying the question, I was like, oh, yeah, Octavia. And I immediately wrote <laughs> down Spencer. I was wondering. Oh, no. And I know it's Octavia Butler, but Spencer is on my paper. The correct answer is Octavia Butler. Yay. Academy Award winner. Octavia Spencer. <laughs> I, I read that book uh, last year, I think, and it was uh, it is definitely a grim fantasy, but I, I thoroughly enjoyed it as well. OK. Question three. What novel by Colin Colson Whitehead won many awards, including a Pulitzer Prize for fiction and an Arthur C. Clarke Award and was adapted into a miniseries in 2021? Wow. Um, that wouldn't have been. Mm. I don't think the years match up. I'm writing it because I can't think of anything else. I'm locked in. Locked in. What? I'm locked in. Okay. I got nothing. David? Cowboy Bebop. (laughs) (laughs) Else? I think this this came out in either 19 or 20, but I said Lovecraft Country. Mother effing... God damn it. <laughs> Andy? Black Mirror. The job of a chimney sweep comes with a great oh, deal I feel of a little responsibility. Bit better. Correct answer um, is the Underground Railroad. 
Huh. Oh. I mentioned that once. I started to watch the the miniseries and then I found out that the it actually involves an actual railroad that's underground. That's a little bit literal. Yeah. <laughs> but and it made it's, it's like a metaphor or something, I guess, for the underground railroad. A literal historically metaphor. inaccurate. <laughs> Where would they have trains underground? That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> They're called subways. Oh, I'm sorry. And question four, what play by Lorraine Hansberry premiered in Bro- on Broadway in 1959 and was nominated for four Tonys, including Best Play, Best Director for Lloyd Richards, Best Actress for Claudia McNeil, and Best Actor for Sidney Poitier? Um, uh, no. Locked in. Get, get, uh, why is the title stuck in my head? All right, locked in. Oh, gosh. All right. I'm also locked in. Deva. Deva. Guess who's coming to dinner? Kells. A raisin in the sun. Sure. Uh, Andy. A raisin <laughs> in the sun. <laughs> Named after a line from a Langston Hughes poem, <sighs> A Raisin in the Sun. Are you talking about your favorite soup right now, David? It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, Neil, what are the scores? Well, I'll tell you, Andy, <laughs> since you're so excited to hear. I am. Devo has 70 points. Mm. Andy has 135 and Kells has 150. So, Andy, you got a little bit of work to do to, 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 to laugh Devo again. A little bit of work. No, I mean, not much. <laughs> not a I lot. I mean, really a little bit. Don't have you to work know, up a sweat. always complaining about how Sensei revels in our pain. <laughs> you do wallow in my misery like it's like it's a pond in high summer. You just swim around it's, when I'm having you know a bad day. It's, it's cannonballing it's, into it. He is. That's he's got his floaties. He's got a Bud Light. <laughs> What's going on? It's pathetic. We are all so desperate for, for Sensei's, you know, smiling on us that we will just throw each other <laughs> under the bus. Look at Davo. Look how bad he's doing. I know. I'm <laughs> I feel podcast dirty. is Lord of the Flies. <laughs> <laughs> that does bring me joy. For, for what it's worth. <laughs> Davo, for, you're for cracking Neil, the Lord of the Flies was a feel good I'm, story. I'm feeling like it. <laughs> you're, you're, I'm, I'm going to get across it. it in this category. I'm got it. I'm in it to win it. Come on, music. You only need three to break the Allison line. Damn in, in there. Yep. Three yep. out of four. Yep. Yep. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Ducky. Music. Don't go Ducky on me. This is a Twy category. Come on, Twy. Called Hodgepodge or Potpourri. Oh, Twy, you had a... <clears throat> go Crossing off music, I was so sure. <laughs> Question one. This entrepreneur... Media magnate, executive, philanthropist, and investor became the first black American billionaire. And there's an easy mode for half points if you need it. Ooh. I'll take the easy mode. Yeah, me too. Um, Because you said all that stuff and I was like, Tony Stark. (laughs) (laughs) But that's not right. (laughs) I was thinking Prince because, you know... Oh, yeah. He has a royal name. He's got to be worth a lot of money. I'm locked in. Okay. So Kells is locked in. Andy and Dave, I want the easy mode. Again, address your complaints to Twy. Mm-hmm. The easy mm-hmm. mode is it's not Oprah. Oh, shit. If I would have thought Oprah before I even asked for easy <laughs> mode, I would have written that down. <laughs> Damn well, it. I, that's what I was thinking, Twy. <laughs> <laughs> Can we unpatreon her? <laughs> just just kick now. her? Yeah, just you know, we're done. <laughs> it was a fun ride. Figuratively kick her. You know. right. All right. I have Media no magnet. Because remember, her her husband's like six foot six, six yeah, foot six. eight. Yeah, but you know what? When you're Davo and I, anybody can kick our ass, really. <laughs> That's not an That's, accomplishment. Right. It's not something we <laughs> fear anymore. This is a female, correct? He just said first black billionaire. Yeah, I didn't first specify that. All right. All right, I'm locked in. First black billionaire, damn it. (laughs) (laughs) 
numbers. Why it. won't you crunch? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Crunchberry, you got this. <laughs> Berry, berry, berry. Damn it, I've already punted. I just, I'm drawing a total. I really want to go with Oprah now. Um, the easy mode is literally, it's not Oprah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. I know. Okay. I'm just wanted, to, just I'm wanted to be clear. In. I'm locked in. Okay, go ahead, Andy. I just bought a pair of Beats headphones, so I'm going to go with Dre. Okay. That's a reasonable guess, Deva. Yeah. Uh, Johnson. Okay. Wow. I see what you did nope, there. There's a person. It's a real uh-huh. person. Sure. Kels. <laughs> Robert Johnson. Ha, Andy. The founder of BET. Um, oh. At one point, the owner of the Charlotte Bobcats. Bob Cats. Um, would not have gotten Robert that. Bob Johnson. Yeah, jump on these nuts, Andy. Wow. Gosh, wow. Turn. <laughs> settle, settle, my friend. Settle. <laughs> we still got some ground to cover. Oh. Now here's the way you dance. <laughs> I swear to God, I had just taken a big mouthful of ginger beer. <laughs> And it was all, that's why I was pounding on my desk. I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah. It was all I could do not to spray that all over my screens. Oh my God. Jump on these nuts. These nuts. The force. Wow. I don't know what came over me. It's desperation to hit the Allison line. Wow. I told you, you go, you go get there, man. You're fine. You got this. One down. No, he got the I easy had mode. To take the easy mode. So he still he needs to get. Mode. He still needs to get three more <laughs> to uh, get three more. You good? You good? You good? Okay, here we good. go. <laughs> Question two: What does "push" in Operation Push, founded by Reverend Jesse Jackson, stand for? Uh, Locked in. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cry, buddy. <laughs> Um, Johnson <laughs> was I right or was I right I am I am familiar with Operation Push but I've never heard I of it before no that idea. sentence was written down <laughs> I never knew what it meant oh my then oh this is bad this is terrible it's not even a joke I'm actually trying to puzzle it out I think I got the P right. I don't. <laughs> I, none of this is right, but I've, I've got to do something. I'm locked in. It's got to be right. Why? <laughs> it's just got to. <laughs> okay, Kels, what's your P? <laughs> I said people under stress habitually. <laughs> All right, Andy. People united to serve humanity. And oh, that's much. Love wow, work. that's really good. I wish I'd come up with that. Yeah, it w- it wasn't me. Yeah. <laughs> to be clear, <laughs> just so it was a Reverend Jesse Jackson. It wasn't me. <laughs> but thank you for for giving me props. <laughs> I also did not write. I have a dream. <laughs> I just dream sometimes. <laughs> okay, Devo, you're not off the hook. You still got to give me an I answer. Preach, uplift, <laughs> spread hope. Well, like that's that, actually though. better than Kel's answer. However, wow. I mean, I don't think we needed that part, but yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> that was just. Where do I put this shame? Oh, over here. <laughs> I didn't order this. <laughs> so much shame. It's on the Where house, Where do Kels. I put it all? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> oh, thanks. The correct answer is people united to serve humanity. Question three. Who was the first black person to appear on a U.S. postage stamp? 
Oh. Locked in with an educated guess. Locked in. All right. Um, locked in. All right. Let's start with Kells. Said George Washington Carver. Andy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but now I'm stuck on the the Saturday Night Live sketch. But <laughs> Stop. Don't do it to every... yourself. I know where, I know where you're going. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, Frederick Douglass is my guess. David? Mm. Harriet Tubman. Uh, there we go. Can I take yeah. another stab at it? If I sure. had to make a guess, it'd be Frederick. I mean, if I had to make the first stab, it'd be Frederick Douglass. You did that. Yeah. Uh, I'm just saying, like, if I got to choose. Uh, no, um, oh, okay. If you if yeah. you were the. I can't think, think of anybody more it. worthy Booker than Harriet Tubman. Booker oh. T. It was Booker, Booker, Booker T. Washington. Washington, yeah. That's not a bad one. <laughs> Though I would okay. I would debate that a little bit. Well, you would have had your opportunity if you'd been involved in the decision whenever that happened. Yeah, which apparently I wasn't. Nope. I think Frederick <laughs> Douglass would have a better choice. Not consulted at all. <laughs> all right. Final question. Who was the first black woman elected to Congress and the first black candidate to seek nomination for president? Locked in. Locked in. One of the teachers at the school has a uh, reproduction of her poster when she was running for president in her classroom. Ooh. <sighs> <laughs> Poor Dave, though. <laughs> yeah, this is not my day, man. Locked in. Let's start with, uh, let's start with Andy. Chisholm. Dave, I just realized I'm making it clear. I've only read the poster. I have never heard her name <laughs> pronounced, so I might be off base with the name pronunciation. You hey, get one a game. It's all good. I know, because I'm stupid. Well, <laughs> given my score in the game, I can't say anything. does make me feel a little bit better, Davo. I'm glad. Uh, my answer was Smith. Okay. Nice. And Kels. Shirley Chisholm. Correct answer. That name sounds familiar now. Shirley Chisholm. Maybe maybe it's familiar because she was the first black woman elected to Congress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I have actually heard that name before. Maybe okay, we cool. should we should change the name of the podcast to Shame Ladle. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is Ladle for sure. on a little more shame for you. <laughs> Remember the Pearl Onions of Wisdom? No, it's just ladling on <laughs> shame. <laughs> Nope. Uh, it's a flat chain shortage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got a nugget. <laughs> the burnt Russell spouts. Russell spouts of shame. I've got some rutabagas of remorse over here for you. <laughs> <laughs> the root of the rutabaga of remorse. All right. I'm sure you're all dying to know what the scores are. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait. Davo yeah. has 75 points. Yeah. <laughs> Andy has 155 points. Yeah. And Kells has 170 points. It's a close one, Andy. In 1957, Laika became the first animal to orbit Earth. What kind of animal was Laika? What is the only team in the Big Four North American Sports Leagues which shares its name with one of the Avengers? And here's one more question for you. Are you the type of person who enjoys playing trivia games, learning new things, and having a bit of fun along the way? If you are, or if you just want to find out the answers to those other questions, then our podcast, Quiz and Hers, might be right up your alley. Each week, one of us writes new trivia questions for the other person, covering everything from science to history to pop culture to sports and every question in a game relates to some theme like game of thrones internet memes sandwiches or animals in space some of the themes make more sense than others so if you like trivia learning or real couples testing each other's knowledge and patience check out our podcast quiz and hers part of the big heads media podcast network quiz and hers the trivia podcast where we test each other's knowledge and the strength of our relationship <laughs> So hypothetically, Devo does have a chance because mm. up next is sudden death. I've actually got eleven sudden death questions. 
Oh wow. Oh, okay. Let's see if we Eleven get music sudden death questions. <laughs> in the fact, hope, perhaps. In no. fact, Andy. <laughs> no. The final category is music. Yes, twice. Thank you. No, is it, I did these. Oh crap! <laughs> the only hope I had is if it were the the top eleven black superheroes. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. You, and that's, you might that's run gone. A table with that. <laughs> and that's that's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Just out of curiosity, because of course that never that category never even crossed my mind but Me neither. how much how much genuinely did you believe that could happen <laughs> you know i didn't <laughs> hope it could happen but once i recognized that i was going to eat so much crap in this game <laughs> It was more of a prayer. Because <laughs> I'm thinking over here, that'd be the equivalent of me going, maybe it'll be, you know, 10 questions about what railroads had black paint schemes. Um, <laughs> yeah. <you know>, seems <laughs> unlikely. It was. It was. But the man can dream, can't he? Yeah. Comeback trail. Cinderella story. <laughs> I have no. Generally, I try to put these in uh, in order of easy to hard. I don't know. These are accurate or not, but we're going to give it a oh, shot. I feel good about it already. <laughs> we, this one I know is going to be super easy. Question one Who was known as Soul Brother number one? Locked in. Locked in. Oh, God. <laughs> you got this, Davo. Don't, don't tense up. I had, I, I met it in a little bit. All right. I'm locked in. Kels. James Brown. Davo. Nope. <laughs> what? Dave, oh, come on, man. Come nope. on. You got nope. this. Come on. I didn't. I if you did said not. George Clinton, you're fired. It was that a lovely soul. time That's being funk. your MC. Thank you for <laughs> having me. Thank you for listening to me. Did you say George I, Clinton? No. Uh, this will officially be my last show. <laughs> <laughs> we broke what did you him. Say? I, I said George Clinton. Oh, wow, buddy. Mm. Do you know how many James Brown songs I've actually listened to in my life? Not enough. Apparently. Oh, one in Rocky. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my God. That's your one? That's like the worst one. That's like <laughs> that's starting at the bottom. <laughs> the only James Brown I've ever listened to in any context was besides you guys talking and going, hey, man, it is. <laughs> wow. It's oh, okay. the, the one in Rocky That's the Street. equivalent of saying, you know, the only Batman I've seen is that one with Mr. Freeze. Um, yeah. 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 That's, yeah. Okay. that's on, that's on look, level. Yeah. Look, man. That stinks. We all have a really bad game every once in a while, and this was yep. my bad game. It's okay. Yep. You're right. It happens. It happens, buddy. Yeah, oh, man. That's rough. But your yeah. homework, your homework is to go listen to Sex Machine. Sex I would okay. start with Super Star bad. Time. I would go with uh, the Star Time uh, box set. Payback. A box set? I was trying to okay. do a song, not an entire no, like, no, retrospective. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is not something you can <laughs> do with a song. This is a community college. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? If we're talking about Dave James Bo, Brown I, here. You know I feel good, though. Yeah. Everybody knows I feel good. Yeah, right, but I haven't like gone out of my way to listen to it. I've heard it culturally. You know, yeah. I don't think I've heard the whole song. It's that long. <laughs> you probably well, I, heard that What I'm saying song. is I haven't sought it out. <laughs> That's you know fair. I mean. But you sought oh, out man. baby metal. See, this is what's <laughs> troubling. I definitely did. I definitely That's why, look, man, this isn't about me. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's officially stop dumping on Devo. Yep, and, yep. Andy, just, right. for, just for form, what's your answer? Good God, y'all, it's James Brown. It is James Brown. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the James wow. Brown I got. Wow. Question two. Whose debut album, For You, released in 1978, credits the artist with lead vocals, backing vocals, all instrumentation, producer, arranger, engineer, and dust cover design? Locked in. I'm locked in. Andy? This is Prince's debut album. Kels? Prince. It is Prince. Yeah, I've listened to Prince. like kind of new. Okay. <laughs> It's going to be a long final here. Yeah. 
All right, question three. Who started off as a gospel singer for her father's church and went on to win 18 Grammys and was number one on Rolling Stone's 2010 list of the greatest singers of all time? Locked in. Kels? Aretha Franklin. And Andy? Aretha Franklin. It was Aretha. I was thinking Whitney Houston, but, you know, that's what I mean. (laughs) (laughs) Question four. Jimi Hendrix moved to Tennessee and played in the backing bands for the Isley Brothers and Little Richard among others, before moving to the UK and forming the Jimi Hendrix experience. Where did Jimi grow up? Locked in. Locked in. I Andy. know this. Uh, did you say my name? I couldn't Andy. hear it because Dave, I was trying to regain. <laughs> <laughs> Seattle, Washington. And uh, Kels. Seattle. The Seattle. Question five. Rapper's Delight was the first rap single in the top 40. Who sang it? Locked in. Locked in. Kells? Sugar Hill Gang. Andy? Sugar Hill Gang. It is the Sugar Hill Gang. Question six. What influential jazz singer was born Eleanor Fagan in 1915? Locked in. Mm, Locked in. Andy? Ella Fitzgerald. Kells? Ella Fitzgerald. Incorrect. What? Correct answer, Billie Holiday. Billie Holiday. No, shh. Seriously? I'm not That's lying. Wow, solid. you suck to sin. Is, it's the misdirection, man. It was, yeah. that was a, a classic sensei pivot. You're a cruel, <laughs> vindictive That's a master. Good one. Uh, mm. That's yeah, that's really good. Uh Kells, you are still in the lead. If you want to keep going, we can keep going, or you can claim the win. Uh let's keep going. All oh, right. you fool. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's solid because I'm feeling pretty shook after that last one. <laughs> right. I've been nervous through all of this, and I'm feeling pretty shook now. Question seven. Who's the youngest person to have a number one song on the Billboard Hot 100 charts with the song Fingertips Part 2 in 1963? Locked, Locked in. in. Kels? Stevie Wonder. Andy? Little Stevie Wonder. Little, little Stevie. Question eight. What singer is considered one of the greatest rappers of all time, despite only recording a single solo album, solo studio album in 1998? Locked in. Shit. <laughs> 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 wow. Ooh, the Kells turned into the dark side. <laughs> you... Got what I need. Nobody beats um, the biz. <sighs> a little late for 98. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> no pay for you. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing here. Uh, <laughs> no, because it's not one album. Damn it. The one album thing's really throwing there. Keep coming up with people. Like it's not Jay Z. Uh, <laughs> Jay Z's got like 13, I think. Wow. 98. The Studebaker stalled out. <laughs> <laughs> so, Andy, I, I know Locked, you have, I know you forget the question. In. Locked, okay. No, I was going to give you a right. little hint, but I won't now. No, I won't accept a hint because it's not fair. Okay. Gals are locked hint, in. Though? Well, I was going to say that the key word there is the single solo studio album. Yeah, you gotta because they're also well known for being in a in a group. Mm-hmm. What did you come up with, Andy? Lauren Hill. Oh no, son Kills. of a <laughs> uh, the miseducation of Lauren Hill it is Lauren Hill. Legitimately, I got it what? right. Yeah. Oh my god! Holy <laughs> shit! She did a she did an unplugged album. Yeah. Yep. And then two albums with the Fugees. Right. Two, yeah, I think two. And then kind of went out of her mind a little bit. And that's why I was thinking Lauren Hill. Well, I think she's she's been she's done a lot of guest spots and producing and other stuff. So she's but, didn't she, but didn't she kind of go off the deep end? She she was I don't know. being obvious or she was being overt that I don't pay taxes, nobody should pay taxes and Yeah, yeah. She Yeah. She's out there doing her thing for a while. Still got it. All right. Wow. 
Okay, I still can't believe I got that right. Nice pulling. Good job, man. Good pull. That was amazing. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> Question nine. Eleanor and Franklin Roosevelt helped set up a concert at the Lincoln Memorial for what singer after the Daughters of the American Revolution refused to allow her to sing at an integrated uh, audience at Constitution Hall? Sixteen years later, she was the first African-American singer at the Metropolitan Opera. Locked in. Thank you, Wendy. Uh, Locked in. Kels? Marian Anderson. Andy? Marian Anderson. That is correct. Wendy sent me a, a story on her to work into one of my lessons. That's how I found out about her. I, I, could, I was trying to figure out how the DAR refused to allow her to sing at Constitution Hall, but it turns out that they built Constitution Hall to hold their annual meetings. Really? Yeah. Wow. And they're white elites. Mm. That helps. Well, yeah, that part. Question 10. Eunice Kathleen Wayman was a jazz pianist and singer who changed her name to hide the fact that she had chosen to play the devil's music to make a living. Maya Angelou wrote about her in 1970. She is loved or feared, adored or disliked, but few who have met her music or glimpsed her soul react with moderation. Who is she? Locked in. Um, oh, oh, what is her name? Shoot. I saw a play about her a few years ago. What is her name? I know who you're talking about now. I think so. I'll play about it. Really? Was it good? Yeah. There's. If I'm thinking the right person, crap. I didn't know there was one, but I bet it would be interesting if there were. Yeah. I can't come up. I'm. One I'm of my out. Favorite voices. I can't come up with it. I'm out. That's it. has got me so upset. Yeah. Kel's got it. Made me lose my wrist. Go ahead, Kels. Nina Simone. Yep, and that's who I was thinking of. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that song that Kells was singing is the most in your face uh protest song yep. possible. It's called Mississippi Goddamn. Yep. Yeah. Ah, son of a there was <laughs> uh, uh what's the the theater group here in Fayetteville? Theater Squared. Uh, theater, theater Squared. squared. Theater Squared had a play about her about four years ago. It was very good. The whole play uh, was her in a train station after uh, she missed her train. And mm. uh, it, and it was really an amazing play. I can't believe I just, just drew a blank. Damn it. She had, she had kind of a rough life. She had mental health issues. And mm -hmm. the last few years of her life were kind of sad. Well, if it makes you feel any better, Andy, I drew about 15 blanks. This, uh, <laughs> this game. So, okay. Our 11th question, which is something I heard today on a podcast that I thought was great. Okay. What jazz saxophonist was a, was canonized by the African Orthodox, Orthodox Church? What jazz, what? S saxophonist, saxophonist. John Coltrane? It's John Coltrane. Yep. Really? Like safe bet. There's actually a church of John Coltrane in, I think, San Francisco or somewhere around in there. Wow. Ooh. They basically say his music is like as close to God as you can get or something like that. I, I have to say a friend of mine back in Milwaukee took me to the John Coltrane church one night and while we were shooting pool and uh, I saw the light. <laughs> <laughs> uh all right so our scores davo ended up with 75 points mm. andy 235 <laughs> god and Kels, 270 i think yeah. well done Kels. man Thank Kels, you, fantastic job really that's a good that, run though andy. that music category was really good guys you did a great job <sighs> Thanks, Dave. Nina Simone, I should have known. And honestly, when I wrote that one, I wasn't even thinking about Ella Fitzgerald. I, it did, I, I was were. wondering why you both got it, and then I realized that her name was Eleanor Fagan. Eleanor? Yeah. I was yeah. like, I'm like this it was pretty a much thought. That was one of those, like, I didn't know that, but it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I think if I'd picked up on that when I wrote the question, I might have changed the question around a little bit. It did not occur well, that me. was an excellent quiz, Neil. 
And thank you very much, Twy. I know I heaped abuse upon your name and <laughs> sent you a strongly worded letter, but that was a fit of pique. This you wrote a shall letter pass. while we were podcasting? I did. I did. Huh. It's going in the mail tomorrow. I might well, rip it you, you don't actually have well, to send it now. Okay. <laughs> I love the idea you're there. At, like, it's with gone. a stamp. And, hmm. You could do that the thing where you, where, you, where you burn it and let it go off. You know, put all your sends all your air. feelings off into the yeah. Air. I feel a lot better yeah. now after ripping that score sheet out of my book. <laughs> so um, from all of us I, here, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, sorry. I just, go ahead, just sorry. real quick, hey, Andy, you you want to guess what Ella Fitzgerald' real name is? Oh, see, and I would not have. I think it's Ella Fitzgerald. Is it not? Yeah, you're damn right. It is. <laughs> 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 it's not Eleanor Fagan. <laughs> 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 and of course Billy Holiday. Yeah, that sounds a little made up. Yeah, I think about it. That sounds a little made up. Actually, Holiday, I think Fagan was her mother's name and Holiday was her father's name. I don't know where the Billy came from. Just sounded cool together. So from all of us here at the Brain Ladle Trivia Podcast, this is your MC Devo with Kells. To quote the great Nina Simone. You got to learn to leave the table when love's no longer being served. Andy. Ah, so long, little Raiders. <laughs> wow, was that James Brown? Yep. It had okay. To be. <laughs> Just wanted to clarify. <laughs> and the Sensei Neo. Ever feel that somehow, somewhere you've lost your way, and if you don't get help quick, you won't make it through the day? Could you call on Lady Day? Could you call on John Coltrane <laughs> now? Cause they'll wash your troubles, your troubles, your troubles, your troubles away. Hmm. Thought there was some dust on the CD for a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way he sings it. <laughs> Signing off. Hello, ladlers. We here at the Brain Ladle Trivia Podcast are thrilled to announce that we have merch, t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, stickers, mouse pads, a bottle of Crystal Pepsi, and a 1986 Buick Regal sitting on what the kids would say, dubs. I mean, the works. Go to brainladleshop.com and give our beautiful new shop a once over. Show your love of trivia and help support the show by locking in on your favorite swag. And remember our sales motto. If you want it, we got it. If we ain't got it, we're going to get it. So you better get it while the getting's good. So if the next category is literature and we have to record on another night, can I just can you <laughs> clue me in on what books I need to read real quick? <laughs> <laughs> real quick <laughs> a selection of authors I don't have to even be the answer it's just give me a, a, some bed rock <laughs> so this is gonna be so bad <laughs> you give me books Sherry. I'll do the homework I swear <laughs> oh, oh man <laughs> I'm sure Neil you can go back in the spreadsheet. Oh, God. <laughs> You're going to say, like, Snape or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I didn't even... I was, I've was. i heard of Morehouse, but I wanted to make sure it wasn't in, like, some young adult kind of <laughs> witching school somewhere or something. <laughs> Welcome to Morehouse, where you shall learn to control the demonic power within. <laughs> I was, you said Morehouse. I was like, man, no, that's solid. <laughs> it <laughs> just bubbled up answer. to the surface, and it felt like a good answer, but oh my god. I was that's sure you were going to say Spellman. That's why I reacted the way that I did. <laughs> I, I wish I had known that it, Spellman existed, because I would have said it. No. Oh, oh Andy, screw. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Uh yeah. If you would have said like Toll House or something like that, I was like, yeah, you might want to just log Toll on. Toll House. <laughs> <laughs> the preceding podcast was presented by Brain Ladle Productions. All rights reserved.
Sure, come get this baby.